Have you ever wondered what makes a painting worth hundreds of millions of dollars? With a bullet, enter American pop art icon Andy Warhol and the shocking story behind his record-setting painting that came to be named Shot Sage Blue Marilyn. Among his many unforgettable creations, the Shot Sage Blue Marilyn stands out not just as a masterpiece, but as a symbol of the art movement that defined a generation. Let's unravel the history behind this extraordinary painting, which would go on to fetch one of the highest prices ever paid for a piece of art. Warhol's fascination with Marilyn Monroe began shortly after her tragic death in 1962, a moment that shook the world. In his New York studio, The Factory, Warhol embarked on a mission to immortalize the Hollywood icon, using a publicity still from her 1953 film, Niagara, as the basis for his series. Shot Sage Blue Marilyn was born from this period of intense creativity, utilizing silkscreen printing to blend commercial art with fine art, a technique that became Warhol's signature. The shot in Shot Sage Blue Marilyn isn't just metaphorical, it's a literal marker of the painting's unique past. In 1964, the story goes that Dorothy Podber, a visitor to Warhol's studio, asked if she could shoot the Marilyn paintings. Warhol, thinking she meant photograph, agreed, only for Podber to pull out a revolver and fire a bullet through a stack of four Marilyns, including our sage blue beauty. This act of violence strangely added to the painting's allure, intertwining destruction with creation. In the years following, Shot Sage Blue Marilyn transcended its initial celebrity homage to become a profound commentary on fame, mortality, and the commodification of human emotion. Warhol's Marilyn series, and particularly this piece, challenged viewers to see beyond Monroe's public persona, reflecting on the isolation and vulnerability of those in the spotlight. It's a testament to Warhol's genius that he could capture such complex themes in what at first appears to be a straightforward portrait. The journey of Shot Sage Blue Marilyn through the hands of collectors is a saga worthy of its own Hollywood script. It's the crown jewel of Warhol's work, appreciated not just for its artistic merit, but also as a prized asset in the high-stakes world of art collecting. The painting's sale at auction would ultimately amount to the staggering sum of $195 million in 2022, with the seller being the estate of Swiss siblings Doris and Thomas Amon, and the buyer being art dealer Larry Gagosian, making it one of the most expensive paintings ever sold. This transaction is a testament to Warhol's enduring legacy and the insatiable appetite for his vision of pop culture. As we close the chapter on Shot Sage Blue Marilyn, it's clear that Andy Warhol's masterpiece is much more than a high-priced piece of pop art. It's a cultural landmark that continues to inspire and provoke, challenging us to question the nature of fame and the way we memorialize those who achieve it. Warhol once said that, in the future, everyone will be world famous for 15 minutes. And through Shot Sage Blue Marilyn, he not only captured the fleeting essence of celebrity, but also the commodification of individual identity in the media age. This painting, with its vivid colors and haunting portrayal of Marilyn Monroe, serves as a mirror to our own societal obsessions and vulnerabilities. It reminds us that behind every public figure's facade lies a deeper, often untold story of human emotion and struggle. As we reflect on Warhol's vision, it becomes evident that his work transcends time, continuing to resonate with new generations and urging us to reflect on the constructs of fame, identity, and art itself. In the end, Shot Sage Blue Marilyn is not just an artifact of pop culture, but a profound commentary on the human condition, forever challenging us to look beyond the surface.